guys it's Vanessa and welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'm going to be dyeing my hair because it's been a while and I'm sick of the color that I have this color is the same color that I had from before I cut my locks so the color is just a hot mess to be completely honest with you like I don't like it people tell me that they like it and they think I should keep it but I don't care because I don't like it I am going to dye my hair today and I'm going to attempt to dye it the same color that I dyed my locks, that last color that I dyed them before I cut them. The color that I'm dyeing it is kind of like a light brown, auburn kind of color. Like that's what I'm trying to achieve here. Hopefully I don't completely destroy my hair and mess it up, which I don't think I will because I'm not even using bleach. That's the best part. So yeah, I hope that I will be able to come out with some kind of nice color that it won't be a terrible dye job. Oh, actually, let me just show you guys quickly the things that I'm using. I have a mixing bowl, a brush, and some plastic caps as well. Now y'all, what I'm about to do is like kind of weird. I'm not even gonna lie. I don't know if other people do this. Instead of using bleach, I'm basically going to be using like box dye to act as the lightener in this process. The box dyes that I'm using are from Clairol. They're the textures and tones version. This one is in honey blonde. This one is in light golden brown. So I'm going to attempt to use these two right here to lighten my hair up a little bit. My hair is already light on the tips, so I'm hoping, because I don't know, I'm hoping that this will lighten up my hair a bit, will give me a nice base to put on the semi-permanent color. So here are the semi-permanent colors that I'm, why can't I say that word? The semi-permanent colors that I'm using, and so I have two of the adore cinnamon 58 i have two of these and this is the exact color that i dyed my locks when i made that video um before if any of you guys remember but last time i only used this color so this time i'm mixing this color with this other color from the same brand called spice amber 46 i'm just gonna mix these two and hopefully get like a nice auburn lightish brown kind of color if you guys are interested in seeing me color my hair then please keep watching after freshly combing out my locks this is the color that it left me now i'm pretty sure i already have color damage i'm almost positive that i already do because what i was doing to my hair when it was in locks like bleaching it so many times blah, blah, blah. we're just gonna speed right through this get ready for the transformation y'all Honey blonde, light golden brown. So let's get into it, y'all. I think I'm just gonna do my roots last and just focus on the bottom part. I think that'll give me the best of the soul. So I'm almost done applying it to my hair. I'm working on the last sections now. I am already tired and we haven't even done the semi-permanent. We haven't even done the freaking roots yet. Jesus, I've been focusing on the ends so far. And I don't notice that it's changing at all yet, to be quite honest. I'm not done yet. Just give me a second. I ain't done. So, 
now I'm going to sit under the dryer for how long does the box say? Okay, so I'm going to leave it on for like 30 minutes. All right, it's been like 30 minutes now. And I'm gonna show you guys what it's looking like. Okay, so it definitely lightened up. Okay. Oh, I like it. Oh, I like it. Okay, wait, hold on. Color is definitely looking a little uneven, especially in this front part right here. I don't know if I should leave it on for longer. I don't know, should I? I don't know. Cause like, do we ever really like follow the box? No. Some parts of my edges though are not all the way dyed. And my color is definitely still kind of two-toned. Or even, or even three tones, maybe. I don't know. This is what the back looks like. I don't know how it looks. I just turned my brightness up a little bit. And it's definitely uneven. But like, I'm putting semi-permanent color over it. So I don't think that it's going to look bad after that, hopefully. I think I'm just going to wash this out and do the semi-permanent color tomorrow because honestly I'm tired and I just want to wash this out and go to bed. We'll check back with you guys when it's dry, more than likely in the morning. See you in a little bit. guys this is the next day and this is what my hair color is looking like and i just put it in this high puff so that i can go to the store this is my hair color right now my hair is so dry so dry because there's no product in it at all wow i look crazy i dyed it yesterday dyed it rinsed it out shampooed and conditioned yesterday i actually showed you guys that i had both bottles of the Clairol dye, the Honey Blonde and the Light Golden Brown. Turns out I didn't even use the Light Golden Brown. I literally only needed one bottle of the Honey Blonde and this is the color that I got. The color is, I feel, a great base for me to now put on the semi-permanent color. The only thing that I dislike is the fact that the color didn't all the way take on my edges over here. Like, as you can see, this part is still black. And this part is still black. So, I would prefer it to be a little bit lighter, but we're already here and I'm not going to complain. Even though I did the dye in my bathroom yesterday, I'm going to do the, the color in my room today because I don't want to risk messing up the bathroom. Yeah, I'm just going to just be putting the color on. I'm gonna mix the two adore colors that I got and we're gonna see what happens. So just stay tuned. <laughs> 